Wow, what a very sad day and really, really black day for us at the weekend show to mourn one of ours, Aya Adams, who just passed. And uh, I did a piece for him I titled A Hero Is Gone, a tribute to Ayo Adams. One day, I woke up to a black sunlight, and when I glanced at the opaque window, our hero and friend was gone. He was gone to reside with the immortals, but he left a terrible blot of emptiness in our hearts because he said goodbye when it was yet dawn, when I was yet asleep. He passed me by. And now I am really dejected and I feel unimpressed that someone will be gone and I'm undone that my hero is gone. Where will I see your beautiful face again to glance upon like a wondrous gazelle? Where will I see your warm hands to cuddle or your embrace to condole? But death, nothing of you can I ever condone. You only take from us but never give back. You only steal from us our beloved. Sometimes perfection is an infinite conquest. We all seem to be perfect outwardly, but we are on earth. We are as imperfect as dust and clay. Unto dust we come and unto dust we are given. And now where is this great star gone? Beyond of time has he gone. Beyond of earth has I, Adam, sailed. But even in death, I still think highly of our hero. On earth, he had no comparison. He was glorious. His shows were intellectual and brilliant. Ayo Adams was a true citadel of knowledge. He was a pillar of fortitude to the whole of humanity. And to us, his friends, he was a tower of strength. And now that our hero is gone, the morning has turned dark. Our sunlight is blood to a starless midnight. How can we stand in the presence of such a shining light again? How can we save him from the abstractism of death's lair? It's such a tragedy we have to console ourselves of. But even in death, his name is all the more greater. Oh dear Ayo Adams, death has not stopped the greatness of your name. You would continue to be remembered for your goodness, for the love you dispersed to all of mankind. Dear Ayo Adams, the good seed you sowed on earth shall grow into beautiful trees. Your legacy on earth shall continue to invigorate us. Oh dear Ayo Adams, why did you have to go so soon? But God knows best. I know he has kept a sweet bosom for you to rest. God gives and God takes and we are undone because we must not question. We must also wait in silence for our turn. For death comes so swift on the verge and casts us into loneliness. But death, what and why are you? Why do you harm the lioness cub? They were too young to dissolve into nothingness. They are too young for you to reap their valor. Why do you unearth seedlings from the soil? Seeds that would have made beautiful flowers. Oh, Ayo Adams, our dearly beloved, we mourn that you are departed from us. We dread that this horrible day exists. Dear Lord, please grant this day that our hero, Ayo Adams, may reign with you in celestial glory and illuminate the path of our darkness with your light. Dear Lord, may Ayo Adams rest in your peace.